Welcome to Keep Adding Values. In this video, you will learn the 7 powerful ways to improve your productivity. Before we begin, let's have a reality check. How many important things have you done in your life for this year? Month? Week? How about today? Are you just going to let a day pass without giving yourself any immense value and opportunity to grow? Everyone gets the same 24 hours in a day. It is always up to us to utilize this opportunity, which separates the people who are doing well in life and those who are not. It's the work ethic and getting the job done efficiently and consistently productive for the day. However, some people are not even aware or know how to get there or how to do it. If this speaks to you, take this opportunity to turn your tables and live a life you envision. If this video gives value to you, consider subscribing, like, or comment. Thank you for your support. Number 1. Know the difference between busy and productive or else you'll feel burnout. People associate being busy with productivity and vice versa. However, there is a difference between the two. The dictionary defines the two as busy, having a great deal to do, keep occupied productive, achieving a significant amount or result. Knowing the difference between the two is the cornerstone of getting things done effectively and efficiently. As Larry Kim, CEO of Mobile Monkey, would describe it, busy people are hell-bent on fitting in more things into their day. Productive people cut their to-do list thoughtfully by 50%. The way to differentiate between busy and productive people is how they approach tasks. Busy people would make checklists keep occupied and do as many things as possible for the day. In contrast, productive people think about what they need to do. Productive people take a less more approach to plan their work for the day in which their main focuses are those that are important. We aim to be productive not just busy. When we can understand and apply this thought in our goals and tasks, we are getting nearer to the life we want. Number two, identify your goal then establish a plan. What are your goals? How bad do you want to achieve it? We know you have heard this lots of times already, but we'll repeat it to remind you. Failing to plan is planning to fail. As repetitive as it is, many people fall short of not having a plan for their goals and end up unproductive and miserable due to the lack of clarity for the path they want to take. The best opportunity to plan your day is to prepare it the night before. Think about how you want your day to be, the tasks you need to do, and how you want to end that day. Apply these smart goals and integrate your plan for them. Be concrete in your planning. Make it specific rather than a general one. Then be mindful about doing your checklist. Write down the things you need to do and focus on the important ones. This age should get things done more effectively. Number 3. Develop a system that creates productive habit. As James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, would say, you do not rise to the level of your goals but fall to the level of your systems. In order to be productive or to improve your productivity, you need to make it a habit. A habit that makes you work smarter and efficiently. However, it takes a month or two to make a habit. This is where developing a system comes in. The journey in developing a system is challenging but it can be fun to make it worth it. The four steps are as follows. Make it obvious. Make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. The first step is a no-brainer. If you really want to pursue something, make it obvious that you want to do it. Making it obvious can be preparing the things you need the night before, setting reminders and listing it in a calendar, and bringing that equipment with you so that you'll be set to finish that task. We know that developing a habit can be exhausting and a lot of people would give up in the process. This is where making it attractive comes in. James Clear mentioned the technique, temptation bundling, combining the habit that you already love doing and the habit you want to practice. For instance, you want to make a reading habit, you can bundle that with drinking a cup of coffee every morning, a habit you already love doing, and reading a book. This may be intimidating at first, which brings us to the second step. Make it easy helps a lot especially on the first part of creating that habit. We tend to be overwhelmed with our goals and making it easy helps a lot especially on the first part of creating that habit. 
We tend to be overwhelmed with our goals and making it bite-sized helps us approach it to the level we are comfortable doing. Let's go back from creating a habit of reading a book. Not everyone is capable of reading a book in one sitting, especially for new readers. Instead, you can have an attainable goal, remember SMART goals, to 1 to 3 pages or 500 words per day that helps you gain momentum that you are comfortable in. After that, what's next? At one point, you may experience a plateau which is something we don't want to end up with. The remedy for this feeling is the last step which is making it satisfying. James Clear makes the habit satisfying by associating rewards immediately after the task to reinforce the habit. In addition to this, he also tracks the habit in order to create streaks which makes developing a habit satisfying. Number 4. Learn to say no. No is the second most powerful word in the world, being yes as the first. Always be 100% on your decision. Yes is a yes. No is a no. A maybe answer may lean more towards a no. This helps us prevent impulsiveness. While we have some decisions in our lives that we tend to think of carefully, we should always consider what will be best for ourselves. A feeling of hesitation and skepticism may indicate a decision not worth pushing. In regards to productivity, always go for your why, your end goal. Many distractions and external factors hinder us from our goal. Often, this may come from our friends, families, and colleagues. Knowing your why helps us properly decline an invite that we see for ourselves that does not bring us any value. But peer pressure and fear of getting embarrassed makes us go for a yes. Learn to say no, then explain why. If you have done your part and that person insists on your approval, don't bother to debate for it and walk away. Always remember that they will do their best to win you. Remember to value your own time, it's irreplaceable. Number 5. Stop multitasking. Surprisingly, it is not worth it. We may think that multitasking is a superpower, a talent, or getting more things done. However, in reality, it's the other way around. It is counterproductive. According to Peter Bregman from Harvard Business Review, research shows that a heavy multitaskers are less competent at doing several things at once than light multitaskers. The more you multitask, the worse you are at it. Here, the research mentions a spectrum of multitaskers, light to heavy. While we think that light multitasking can be reasonable compared to extreme multitasking, we can't change the fact that it's still not helpful for us in the long run. It is a bad habit. Why? It is because our brain can only focus on one thing at a time. Surprisingly, the human brain does not do well for multitasking. According to Travis Bradbury of Next Big Idea Club, Stanford students had a research that found that frequent multitaskers perform worse due to troubles in organizing their thoughts, filtering irrelevant information, and were slower in switching from one task to the other. The best thing to do is to choose not to multitask. Instead, to finish your task one at a time as we intended to do so. Number 6. Value rest. The brighter the candle, the faster it will burn. Rest is something that we tend to overlook, often out of the equation of being productive. The most notable form of rest that gives us the best productivity results is sleep, but only a few take notes of it. A study shows that not having a quality sleep heavily affects productivity. As Dr. Matthew Carter, PhD sleep specialist, you are able to get more done on a good night's sleep, not less. The opposite of how most people would think. People tend to keep themselves awake to do more. Fear of missing out or so stress about the things they need to accomplish rather than taking a break for their mind and body. This mindset deteriorates both performance and well-being. How much sleep do we need to be productive? Well, the straightforward answer for that is it depends. It depends because stress can vary depending on the person. Either take naps, sleep for 5, 6, 8 to 10 hours, more on their preferences on where they feel most energetic and productive. 
What matters most is the quality of sleep, not much on the quantity. It is a proven fact that good sleep improves productivity. And it's common sense too that having a good sleep can rejuvenate your mind and body, preparing you for the task you need to face for the day. Number 7. Mind what you consume for your body. You are what you eat. We tend to overlook nutrition when we talk about the factors that affect our work performance. We we'll think that any food is okay as long as it makes us complete compared to not eating. However, a study shows that what we eat directly impacts our performance, especially cognitive performance at work. So having a poor diet can significantly influence an entire day. As stated in Harvard Business Review, Ron Fredman, scientifically, the foods we eat are being converted by our body into energy, which aids our brain to stay focused. Consequently, when we feel hungry, we have to eat again to regain that energy because it is hard to concentrate on an empty stomach. It all boils down to our decisions to have healthier diet. While eating your favorite and salivating junk and processed foods makes us feel satisfied, our body suffers in the long run, which leads to how it performs throughout. Conversely, creating an action plan helps us strategize and improve our eating to be healthier and more rewarding. You can incorporate these things for a healthier lifestyle. Have a goal, develop a system to make it a habit, and learn to say no to reinforce your more productive lifestyle. I hope these 7 powerful ways to improve your productivity helps you. Take a moment to reflect and realize how you can incorporate these things into your life. Remember, keep adding values to yourself every day. Thank you for watching.